Hello, my marvellous sausages. It's time to do a Dreaming City Master Lost Sector, and I've chosen the Chamber of Starlight. So let's have a little look at this. Now then, if you look at the flag on the actual map here, it does give you rather misleading information. So let's pop over here. You can see it's here. Look on the thing. It says Epitaph and Chaff. It ain't that at all, because if you come into the uh, Ma Lost Sector, the Master Lost Sector, you and get your ghost out. Look, we've got Epitaph and we've got Attrition. So Epitaph means that combatants generate blight geezers when defeated. Or are you out geezer? And the attrition means that your health regenerates really, really slowly. So you've got to pick up those little wells of light that are around the place. It's a solar burn, so you want to take that into consideration. You've got overload and unstoppable this time. Limited revives and, of course, your normal bunch of master modifiers. Now, I've got to be honest with you, this one's quite tricky, Chamber of Starlight. This one over here is probably a bit easier, Bay of Drowned Wishes. But you're going to have to wait another two weeks for that bugger to come around and tomorrow of course we've got this one your Ophelian's rest as well but I'm going to do this one so let me show you what I've got for me setup when well, it's a solar burn so I've gone for me dawn blade and I've gone for uh, my well of radiance as well you know to protect me whilst I burn now then we've got overload champions and a lot of them are off in the distance and up in high up places which precludes the use of swords so what I've gone for is overload bow and I'm using my lumen arc two reasons for this of course you can pick the gits off from a distance and secondly we've got all the void shields there's loads of them around the place and then finally because we've got unstoppables i've gone for unstoppable fusion rifles linear fusion rifle and in this case i'm using the corsair's wrath because it's solar damage as well if you look over my gloves look i've gone for unstoppable fusions and overload bow as well now because these are all long range weapons what i've gone for here is an empowering rift which increases my weapon damage but because i'm using my i'm gonna say it right this time <coughs> lunafaction boots it's gonna give me increased range as well because we're doing lots of kickings from afar other mods i've got gone for as well i've gone for linear fusion ammo there and i've also got on for our well of life picking up solar wells i'm gonna get solar wells from killing things with me corsair's wrath i've got protective light because every time i pick up an orb of power i'm changing it so it uh, turns it into uh light i've got the taken charge mod in uh, my boots there so what's going to happen there is that i'm going to get more protection from protective light you need to be charged with light for that to happen what else have i got in here i've uh, got a concussive dampener because uh, we're going to be shot from afar by loads of gits and i've also gone for font of might as well anything else of interest on my boots no just a scavenger mods there oh we can stick something in here look let's just stick that in there for a bit of grenade action and then i've gone for particle deconstruction and explosive well maker as well right then let's go in and uh, let's do it <laughs> So here we go! Shed loads of champions! This is what this should be renamed. Okay, first of all, we've got an unstoppable champion there, and we've got a hobgoblin up there. So let's take him out first. Watch the doofs. There we go. Now, with these guys, only attack if you get too close to them. So we kind of keep a distance here a second while we pick off these Akko Shites. They're the ones with all the void shields, the Akko Shites, but if we can just... There we are. I got in a bit close to him then. Look. And now he's killed me because he's an arse pipe. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm underleveled as usual. You can see the recommended power there is 1350. Here we are, back again with the same twat who just killed me. So let's uh, kill him. Ah, uh, he turned his back on me. Oh, no, the backpack is a... Is a quick point, isn't it? There you go. Oh my god. Right. Uh, gone. Right. At last, he's dead. So that's the first unstoppable. And then we've got Overload Champion up the back as well. So let's take out all the ones who've got Void Shields first. They're all the Echo Shites. There they are. Another Echo Shite there, another Hobgoblin there. They don't have shields, they're just incredibly irritating. But what we've got to do now is take out this Solar Shielded... Oh, I killed the wrong guy. Where is he? Well, where's he gone? He was there. There he is. Look, let's take a night, because it's best to take these guys out in order. So you're left dealing with the older Overloaded Champion. Right, so what we're going to do here is just take him out with our bow. And then let me stick an empowering rift on, which will also give me extra range because of the lunification boots. Oh, I said it wrong again. Lunification. And let's just take him out. Nicely, nicely. That idiot down there. Piss off. The thing is, you see, you've got to make sure that you don't leave them too long and they teleport and then they're going to build their health back up again. Which is one of the most annoying things in the entire world, Jeffrey. Go away. And 
There we are. All right, that's that one gone. Take that idiot out as well. And the eye is gone as well. There might be one lurking around behind a bush. Who knows? Right, this next room is the definition of being overwhelmed by arseholes. <laughs> First of all, we've got an unstoppable uh, phalanx idiot, and we've got an overload idiot as well. Then once we kill them, we have another wave. So let's deal with these guys first. So you can see the thrall appear first of all. I made a rhyme then! Uh, like, uh, go kill them. It would be nice if they dropped a bit more heavy, wouldn't it? There you go. That's, uh, that's my luck, that is. Lots of attrition wells, though. Oh, there's one bit there, look. Where have you gone? Huh. Oh. He seemed to appear behind me and then bugger off again. Anyway, never mind. So here, uh, the overload, not the overload, the unstoppable is there. Uh, let's kill all these idiots here first. And uh, there's a solar shielded knight. Okay, then, fair enough. You go first. I'll take any of you on in order. There's that for there. Goodbye, take a throw there. Loads of throw here. Just lightning shots up and shoot him in the head. You can go. Die, please, whoever he is. Stop shielding him, you idiot. There you are. That's taking his shield out. And he's dead there. Only got, what have we got there? Eight shots in it. And there's the overload up there. So what I'm going to do is stick down another empowering rift and let's take him out from here before that unstoppable to our right comes round and tries and turns our rectum into a hat. Right, let's uh, keep on going at that arse pipe there. I can hear him growling. Is he coming? No, he's not coming. Ooh, uh, sounds a bit rude. Don't charge. I might have stepped too close, let's see, to the wall to my right, which is entices him around. But can we do this? Go on, miss. Go on. And a couple more. And there we go. That's old overload pants overloaded. Next, we've got to do the uh, unstoppable around the corner. Trouble with this is, the moment you kill these guys, then we set off another wave. Nice little chain reaction as well, with the void shields being uh, disrupted, which I always like. Yes, that's good. Okay, and then unstoppable Bernard is running away like a huge coward. Yellow chicken. Right, let's... Uh... Oh, no, see that? See there? Those guys are the arsiest biscuits in the world. <laughs> Let's take them out with my bow, first of all. Calm, be calm. <laughs> right, there we are. Where are you? Come on. They're all hiding behind rocks like a bunch of ass. Bernards. Now that's one gone. Now then, what do we have next? Oh, didn't even see him. Yes. So once we kill this unstoppable fellow, you will then have the next wave, which will be two Unstoppables, two Overload Champions, and loads and loads of Thrall. Here they come. So what I tend to do is run around here screaming uh, out of utter fear for my life. Ah! There you go. Right. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, he burned. It's coming around as well. What are we going to do? Let's just do this. I always forget sometimes to use my super. How you like me and forget to use a super? Ah, oh, there we are. Well, that's a stupid thing I've just done now because I've got no ammo left or nothing and they've all buggered off around the corner. What a waste! Never mind. That's all right because what happens is that they both bugger off and stand together around the corner there and give you a bit of breathing time. Oh, and they've dropped some uh, power ammo bricks. Not p bricks. Uh, let's take a throw. Uh, die. And uh, die there, and you can also die too. This is the third time I've run this one, because the, uh, the second time I ran it was the one I was going to show you, but it took me so long, you all might have died of old age by the time I've got to the end. Now then, I've been shot there, look, by the Overload Champions. If you can keep that crystal between you and them, while you kill, and this is the boss. Well, the standard boss of the uh, Lost Sector. It was actually easier than any of the bloody Overload Champions and the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unstoppables. But it's getting an angle on them, you see? Because they're all high all the time. Right. That's alright, that's alright. Just kill them all off. They've all got to be killed. They've all got to be killed, haven't they, eh? That one's gone there. Ouch! Right, we managed to survive that. Let us just see what we can see now. Has that one gone over there yet? No, because what happens here 
is that the wizard there, once you knock him down to half health, ow, they will move positions over into the circular plinth in front of the overload champions. Oh my goodness me. This attrition is a complete ass. Uh, health coming up a little bit. I don't, I don't think I've used my primary once, because what's the point? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, there we are. We've got a respawn there of turds, which is nice as usual. That signifies the boss going over to that flinty area, like I said. Oops, wrong way. I have some guards for a laugh. Punch you in the face. Right, okay. I'll punch you in the face. Well, get stuffed. Okay. This actually makes it a bit easier for when they come up here. Because we don't have to get those unstoppables out here now. We can just stay here. To do it. Yes, yes. Goodbye, goodbye. Yes, you're dead. More idiots to kill, which is lovely. Die, idiots. Oh. <laughs> Did you notice when I say die, idiots, I died. Right then. Four revives left. This time it's feelings. Because I haven't killed that many ch champions. But we will be doing that in a minute. So, that little shite gone there. Come on now. Kill this Bernard. Let us just stick a rift up. Because, you know, makes it a bit stronger and we'll take the killing a lot quicker. Goodbye. Ink stain. Was he in car? He's in the car, Z. Right. That's that one gone. Now, what we don't want to do is get too close to uh, the unstoppables on the other side of that ridge. Let's just sort out these overload arse pipes. Try and keep them separate. Goodbye, Hobgoblin. Let's stick a super on there like that. So you can just help me a little bit, yes. You really want to be sticking to the same overload champion, really. Otherwise, you're going to find that one's going to be charging while the other one's being shot. And then you get into a horrendous cadence where you never complete it. Yeah, he's uh, really copping it. He's copped it. Just his mate now. Let's see if killing that first overload prompts that unstoppable to come round the corner again like he did last time. Because you never know, they might do... Ooh, Brumbrel Brenbram up there. There we go, and... Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. All we've got left now are two unstoppable ass pipes. So let's just pick that up there. They're about to start shooting me because they're like that. Okay. You first, then. There you go. Stop that, then. Unstoppable. Oh, nice. Lovely. And I believe we've got one large one left over here. Six shots left. Is he still hiding? There we are. We'll take out uh, the uh, chums first. Goodbye, Akko shit. Shite. See, I didn't get the rhyme then. Oh, he's coming at me. Oh, he's coming at me. Come on, then. Come on. I know what you want for Christmas. That. In fact, we missed Christmas. It was just a week or so ago. That take an action shot is dead. Kill the eye. And let's just finish this guy off. Where are you? Oh, he's gone. Huzzah! That's it. That was a lot better than my last run. <laughs> Believe you me. So there we go. We've got eight revives left. It's a load of champions, isn't it? And it's quite a tricky one to do, to be perfectly honest. But you do get a nice sense of achievement and a Nezaraxin as well. Has that gone to the post office? No, it hasn't. It's coming in at 1326 and the 67. That's not bad at all. So there we go. That's great for finishing your Moments of Triumph's Lost Sector Master Triumph, if you're after doing that. And that's all four we've completed now in all the different Lost Sectors across the solar system. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe. And give me a comment as well as to how your loadout is and if you've tried this and, well, if it didn't drive you insane or not. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage. Mm.